Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. And today we're with the 1983 Kawasaki KLT 250. It's time to get this guy back in service. Okay guys, this is our 1983 Kawasaki KLT 250. You've probably seen it sitting in the back. We use it mainly this time of year, spring and summer to uh, do yard work. That's why I just got the, the cart out the back. Again, just have to service everything. We're gonna go ahead and clean it up. I know that this switch, the original key switch broke, so I've got a bunch of these little switches and they tend to go out, so I know this is bad. And I've got a new battery to put in it. We'll do that, we'll clean it up, put some fuel in it, air up the tires, try to remove some rust. I think I'm gonna pull off this cover and try to remove some rust from this. Maybe put a coat of paint on it after we clean it to uh, just make it last a little longer. And then the other thing we're gonna do, not today, but in the coming weeks, I'm gonna build a lean-to for it behind the fence. It'll at least be undercover, so it won't get so bad over the winter. Let's go ahead and get to work on it. Okay, I'm gonna start with the least important thing by removing some rust on this, I'm just gonna put it on on the brake lever and anywhere I see it, I'm gonna go around and use this rust dissolver. It, this can be cooking while I'm doing everything else. And I'm gonna hit some up here, just on these and on this. It's not gonna, it's not gonna remove the pitting, but at least it'll knock off some of the rust. Just try to turn back time. Thanks Cher for that one. Now it's stuck in my head. Everywhere I see rust, I'm just kind of rubbing this. Okay, let's get this battery out of here. That one should come out. There we go. So I got a new battery for it. We're just gonna go ahead and slip this in. Okay, so we got the battery on, pull the seat off, and we gotta pop this guy off to get to this switch right here so we can jump it. I may just need to plug it in. Let me plug it in. Let me check that. Okay guys, this is the old switch. I'm gonna go ahead and replace it. I've got the other one. I bought this bag, I'll leave a link in the description. I bought this bag of eight of these switches. I think it was four or five dollars. It was something so cheap. So just to have these little simple toggle switches. Bad thing is that they're not very waterproof, especially where it is. If it was maybe in a spot under something, it would be a little bit better. But for where it is on this Kawasaki, it doesn't work so well. So, do you guys have a favorite tool? This is my favorite tool. I got it a couple of years ago at Barber. It came in this awesome box. Look at this. This is when they would actually package things. It's pretty incredible. Shows you how to use it, but these are the best wire strippers. You just squeeze it and it strips it. It's so simple. I've had other versions, but I like this one better. Um, Harbor Freight sells a version, but I just love this. I think I like working on using old tools to work on old motorcycles seems to fit. So guys, this is my favorite tool. Let me know in the comments down below. What's your favorite one? So here, we're all wired up, ready to go. Just have to plug it in. Forgot to charge the battery. So we're going ahead and charge. We're charging the battery right now. We got a little ways to go, so we'll let it cook. Okay, let's see if we can get the sucker, the sucker clean. Okay, I got the battery box in, although I do have the starter button out because I've got to clean up in there, so I've just got this jump box hooked up. I've got the spark plug off because I just want to check for spark, make sure I'm getting spark up here. So let's just hit this guy. No, it doesn't look like we're getting any spark. Oh. So we'll trace the wires, make sure we're getting power to everywhere we should be getting power. So, oh, make sure I have that on. Let's make sure I did that. Let's try again. No, we ain't got nothing there. No, okay. We'll keep trying. Let me trace the wires, see if we have any juice. Guys, we have a a no spark issue and I think I've got to check some wiring back here. It's too tough to get to with here so I'm just going to go ahead and pull the plastic off. I'm going to start pulling the rack off. 
good thing is we got this toolbox right here we can just dump everything in all right now we gotta take off the toolbox there we go should be a gas cap and then a couple of tins okay so just got it all off there we go we'll clean this guy up really good this is what I need to get to right here. So let's dig into this. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do some, some fishing to figure it out, but I was not getting power to this, this wire right here that runs to right here, that runs up here to my starter button. I wasn't getting any power to it, even coming from, even when it was plugged in. So I must, it must be broken or something. I'll check it. But what I did do was run just a jumper wire just from a, a keyed on this brown that goes to this light right here. I just ran this jumper right here. If I turn it on and then hit this. So now it runs. So we got it fixed. We just don't have a starter button. So we don't have a starter button. So we're just gonna go ahead and use this guy. Okay guys, so we got the KLT250 running. It's not as sexy as what we like because we do have to use the jump box as our starter button to make it work. But hey, it works. We just need to, that's all I can do today because we have to use it because we're gonna be moving some mulch and all that around. So we need to be able to put it in the, in the, uh, in the cart to be able to haul it around so we don't have to tote it everywhere. And then when we clean out the, the beds, we can put stuff in there and dump it. So it'll be in service today. We'll just leave it running throughout the day. If we have to shut it off, we'll leave the jump box back there and it's an easy hook the positive there, negative to this one, turn the button. Not too bad. We will eventually sort this out and figure out why I'm not getting juice all the way to where it is. But you can see just by putting that rust dissolver there, we've cleaned up a good bit of the rust that was kind of hanging around just slowed it it doesn't it's not perfect guys this thing's never going to be perfect it's this thing is a tool and we use it like one. Oh yeah guys we were going at least 75 80 miles an hour with carrying the kids in the back no we weren't we were probably doing 5 to 12 miles an hour on on in with them in the cart just riding around so loads of fun so guys, I want to thank you for watching yet another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. Do me a favor, like, take, share, and follow us on Instagram at Motorcycle Rewind. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks again, guys, and have a great day.